This is Atlas Mission Control at T-minus 10, 9, 10 8, 7, 6, 5, That's 4, 3, Half plate. 2, 1. And the RD-180 engine roars to life off. and lifts off front. with a maiden flight of the Lockheed Martin Atlas V yeah. rocket with a hot bird 6 spacecraft on board for a Utilsat Paris, France. With this Atlas V mission underway, let's listen to Rob Gannon providing launch vehicle ascent data here from the Atlas Space Flight Operations Center. We have throttled down to 99% thrust rate on time. Everything looks good. Flight control is nice and normal. And the vehicle continues right down the center of the range track. PU looks good. Booster propulsion parameters look good. Vehicle rates continue to look normal. And booster PU continues to ride right on the lock stop as expected. And all propulsion parameters continue to look good. One minute into the flight, everything looks good. Everything continues to control normally, right as expected. And we continue to fly normal. Vehicle continues to fly down the center of the range track. Coming up on 100 seconds into the flight. And we are throttling down as expected. Engine parameters show the throttle down, looking good. Vehicle continues right down the center of the track. Flight control is stabilized out. All stations start ground system securing. Status check for Team 1 pad entry environmental control system. Ready. Umbilical retract. Ready. Booster LO2. Ready. Booster propulsion. Ready. Booster All hydraulics. Continue to look Ready. Good. Booster pneumatics. Ready. Centaur engine chill. Ready. Centaur pneumatics. Ready. Centaur LO2. Ready. Centaur LH2. Ready. Head and gas control system. looks good. Ready. Everyone Everything is working normally. Ready. RF FTS. Ready. Flight control. Ready. Instrumentation. Ready. Instrumentation. Ready. 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 Everything looks good. Ready. Facility electrical. Ready. System launch conductor. Ready. Anomaly chief. Ready. And vehicle systems continue to look good. And we did uh, have steering enabled a few seconds ago, right on time. Two minutes, 52 seconds in the flight, everything looks good. And everything looks good. We have fired the pyro valve, pressurizing reaction control system. Timing on that was normal. And everything continues to look good. We continue to accelerate at 4.6 Gs. We are 100 nautical miles downrange. 40 nautical miles in altitude at 7,800 miles per hour. And we have started boost phase chill down. We are now in our constant 5G throttle phase. Engine is throttling down as expected. And we have stopped boost phase chill down. Everything looks good. Coming up on Miko, we have booster engine shut down. Everything looks good there. We have stage separation. We have free start on fuel and locks. We have ignition and full thrust. Both the engine is up and running normally. All parameters on the center engine look good. We have fairing separation. 
This is Atlas Mission Control at L plus 4 minutes, 47 seconds and counting, and you can hear the cheering here at the Atlas Space Flight Operations Center with very, very dramatic uh, video, uh, stunning images here of the cameras from the vehicle showing the Common Core booster Atlas uh, staging. Uh, we had the RD-180 performance uh, that was excellent. The uh, stage performed as expected and has jettisoned. The uh, Centaur is now uh, in its first burn, main engine start number one occurring moments ago, and we saw the engine and operation begin from the uh, onboard camera. We've got absolutely stunning images coming back from uh, these cameras. It was just a beautiful ride, and the Atlas uh, Common Core booster phase of flight is not complete. Centaur main engine start number one is now in progress. Uh, the four-minute phase of the Atlas booster flight was uh, nominal, as you heard. Uh, we are now in main engine start. Uh, we've had main engine start number one, and we will have... Uh, uh, Miko one at about uh, 15 minutes and 10 seconds into the flight, so we've got a long first burn here, 10 minute and 51 second first burn. Everything continues uh, as expected with the mission, and uh, this is Atlas Mission Control at L plus 5 minutes, 58 seconds and counting. And engine operating parameters continue to operate normally. Here we've gone to closed loop control on the center PU system, everything looks good. We're seeing a few dropouts in data, but uh, otherwise it's been very clean. We'll take, take a look at the range track. The vehicle continues right down the center of the range track, operating nominally. Nominally, We are now 627 nautical miles down range, 126 nautical miles in altitude, traveling at 11,600 miles per hour. And we are riding the fuel stop on the center PU. Boost rail to storage tank below 10 PSIG. Step 07. There. Roger. OSM LC. And your power station go ahead. Sequence 308, Team 1, May Inter Complex 41. They're rolling that way. ECS LC. Go ahead, LC. Switch all ECS from GN2 to air. Roger. ECS switch PEB to ventilate. Roger. Continuing right on the fuel stop. Copy that. And the vehicle is 828 nautical miles downrange, 140 nautical miles in altitude at 12,000 miles per hour. Center engine parameters continue to look good. We are 473 seconds. Pad 1, when you reach the pad, you can go ahead and go in. We don't see any fires as yet on the uh, inspection. Center for you coming off we'll the we'll give you a fuel stop. You get there. Starting to control Everything towards the nominal mixture ratio. Everything looks good there. Engines are operating to the change of mixture ratio as expected. We have very small. RCS control activity and roll. We'd like to shut down this operating right and, uh, down as one nominal MR on Centaur. Operating parameters look good. Roger proceed. And as as of now on the primary machine. We are one thousand fifteen nautical miles down range. Roger. Hundred and forty eight nautical miles in altitude at twelve thousand six hundred miles per hour. Continuing to fly right down the center of the nominal track. Everything looks good. Five hundred thirty three seconds into the mission, everything continues to look good. Good. 
We are approximately five minutes to Nico One. Center continues to operate normal. Center P U looks good. Vehicle rates are very normal. Everything's looking normal. A correction. Uh, we do expect to uh, be facing the MTS system in uh, a couple hundred seconds. That truck continues to burn normal. Flight control continues to look normal. Rates are good. Vehicle is now 147 nautical miles in altitude, 696 nautical miles downrange, traveling at 14,000 miles per hour. We continue to fly right down the center of the range track. Very smooth flight. Acceleration disturbances are very small. Flight control disturbances are also very small. And operating time is continuing to look good. Seven hundred and forty seconds into the mission. Uh in the end of our first burn, we're seven hundred seconds to the end. The uh and, uh continues to operate normal. We see the steady operation on the propulsion system parameters. Again okay, it's steady uh PU. Vehicle rates are very benign. Now 40 seconds to meet the one. Everything's looking good there. The engine continues to operate normally. 